Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to find all 40 collectibles here in the Devastated Settlement in Jedi Survivor. So without further ado, let's jump into it. And we're gonna be starting from the Devastated Settlement Meditation Point. It's located right here on your map. And the very first thing we're gonna do is come right over here to the left side. We can drop down onto this ledge and right over here in the corner is gonna be a tree that's gonna give you a seed pod. Now I've already grabbed this one. So go ahead and take that out and that'll be your first collectible. Then we're going to work right back up to the top here and we want to get on top of this little structure grapple up onto the ledge here and we can crawl our way all the way around to the other side of this giant rock once you get over here to the other side you're going to be able to jump up so right here you can jump we'll jump again and you'll make it up top we're going to jump across right over here on the right and we're going to go inside now you may have an enemy or two in here that you need to take out but once you make it in this room we're going to come all the way over here to the back and sneak through this wall we can jump up on the box and right back over here in the corner is going to be your collectible. Now, once we've grabbed this, we're going to turn around and head back outside and we want to grab the ball that's going to be outside. So if we come right over here around this corner, we're going to be able to grab the ball that's in this little machine. So we'll grab onto that and we're going to take it inside and we want to take it on the other side of this wall, but we're not going to be able to fit through there with it. So what we're going to do is throw it up here in this little holder so you can line this up It'll turn purple and throw it up there and it'll latch into that. We can then sneak through the wall and we want to have this box close enough to where we can jump up. So we'll pull this a little bit closer and now we can jump up there and grab the ball again. So we'll jump right up here. We're going to grab this ball. Now we're going to throw it in the back side over here. So line it up with that machine. And when it turns purple, you can toss it. I think I actually just missed. Let's see if it lands. It landed. And now that it's in there and the laser's working, you guys can see we have a treasure over here. So what we're gonna need to do is use BD1's ability, his little burn ability. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move this laser across. So we're gonna use the force on the switch down here until the laser comes all the way over here to where we're at. Then we can use BD1's ability. We'll drag that all the way across here and lead that right into the little spot where it burns. And once it burns it, it'll drop the treasure. We can run over here, pick up the treasure, and you've got your collectible. Now, after we grab this one, we're gonna head back outside and we're gonna take a left and we're gonna come right over here to where we can wall run. And there's gonna be a treasure on the wall run spot. So you can jump across, you can see the treasure right there on the side. So what we're gonna do is run across and we're just gonna grab on and spam the button to pick up the treasure. We'll be able to pick it up and then you'll be done. We can turn around and wall run back. And there's your next collectible. Now, after you make it back, we're gonna hop on this bird and fly to the right. And we're gonna go right over here to this tower. You can see we have a chest as well as some enemies. I would recommend jumping when you get close, just in case you don't get close enough. But once you get here, you can take out these enemies and this chest right here will be your next collectible. And once you open up that chest and you turn around, we're gonna have a seed pod that's right over here with the bushes. I've already accidentally grabbed it, so you're not gonna see it on the screen, but it's gonna be right here where I'm standing. And once you grab that seed pod, we're gonna hop on this bird and we're gonna fly right over here to our right. You can try to make it up top as soon as you fly. If you can't make it, there's a grapple there that you can grab onto. So you can see I fell down, you can just grapple up. And once you're up here, we're going to go inside and in the back left corner is going to be your next collectible. And once you grab this, we're going to head right back outside and we're going to be able to climb the wall right here. So we can just jump up. We'll have some vines here that we can climb and you're going to have some enemies, but don't worry, we can run by them for now. And we're going to go right over here to this wall on our right. We'll just jump up here. And once you're up top, if you take a left right over here is going to be your next one. Once you've picked that up, if we turn around, we're going to have the laser here. If you've already completed this section of the story, if not, you'll need to do so. But we're going to drag this down using BD1's little burn ability. And if we drag that right around the corner here, we'll be able to burn this wall. That'll disappear. We can go inside and right over here, we're going to have some treasure. And once you've picked this one up, we're going to turn around and head back outside. And we want to come right over here to this little broken bridge and we're going to take this bird. So we're going to fly with this bird to the other side. Just fly over here to the other side of the bridge. We can then jump off. And we want to work our way down to these little volcano things. So we could take this bird and we're going to fly right down here where the tree is. Now you're going to have some enemies down here that you're going to need to take out. So as soon as you land, go ahead and take out these guys. And once you take out all these enemies, the first thing we're going to do is come over here and grab this seed pod. You can destroy these bushes and that'll be your next collectible. Right next to the seed pod is going to be a treasure. We can pick that one up. That'll be another one. 
And then if you come right over here where the air is coming out, you're going to have the ability to scan once you take out all the enemies. So you can do that. And that'll be your third collectible down here. Now, once you've grabbed all these, we need to get a bird. So you can activate the zip line right here and we're going to ride this up. And once we get up here, we can jump off and climb this wall to the left. So we'll jump right here. We can climb this wall. And right here on the left is going to be the bird that we need. We're going to fly the bird back down to where we just were. And we'll fly it over that little air pocket. And that's going to send us up. And we're going to fly to the right. So we'll come right over here to the right side. You'll have some droids up here that you'll need to take out. But once you take out those droids, we can come right over here by this giant wall. And we're going to have the ability to scan to get our next collectible. And once you've scanned this, we're going to head right inside over here. Work our way through this little corridor. And once you're inside, if you look to your left, we're going to be able to wall run. So we'll go ahead and wall run. And you're going to have a couple droids that you need to take out right here. So you can go ahead, go ahead and take out these two guys. Your first collectible in here is going to be right here in the middle. Pretty hard to miss. You can go ahead and pick that one up. And once you pick that up, if you come right over here to the right side where the blue glow is, you'll be able to get another collectible. Now, after you've grabbed those, we're going to turn around and head back over this way. And we're going to be able to jump down. We're going to jump into this opening over here. So we'll hit the jump, dive across. And once we're in this room, we want to get a treasure that's on the wall back there. So we're going to use BD1's little burn ability. And we're just going to drag this across. So go ahead and get BD1 out take this all the way across and then we're going to take this up the wall and it's going to burn this it'll drop that treasure and you can pick up your next collectible now after you grab this one we're going to turn around and head back out so we need to come right back over to this wall and we can just bounce off of it until we get to the top and in this room over here you guys can see we have a treasure up on that ledge that we need to get down but we need to use bd1 so we're going to come over here and grapple up to the top we'll jump our way up top here we're going to turn to the left. We can actually wall run across here. So go ahead and use the wall run. And when we get to the end here, we're going to take a right and go outside. We're looking for one of the little balls that's going to make the laser. So right here in front of us, if you've completed the puzzle, we're going to steal this ball right here. And we're going to take this back over this way. And when we get to the end here, we want to just throw it down. We want to get it in this one right here. So we're going to go ahead and throw this down to the bottom. You want to be fairly quick about this because it will despawn if you just leave it sitting there. And then we're going to come right over here and toss it in this one. Once doing that, it's going to create a laser ray here, which is pretty close to where our treasure is. So we're going to use BD1's burn ability. And we're just going to work our way all the way across so that we can knock that treasure down. We'll burn this. We'll take this all the way down to the end. And then we can ride up the wall with this until we get where the treasure is and once you get up there it'll drop the treasure and you'll be able to come over here and pick it up now once we've grabbed this treasure we're going to come right over here to this ball and we want to take this back outside so i'm going to grab it right here you can toss it back up top here and then just use the force to just push it up a little bit higher and it should land up there and then all we can do is just come right around this corner we'll go right back up the wall we're going to wall run back across we can grab this ball and take it with us. We can throw this back outside for the laser. So we're going to go ahead and toss this back in here really quick. And once we do that, we're going to run over here and take this bird. We want to fly to another platform right here above us. So what we're going to do is fly toward this volcano so that we can get some air. It's going to lift us up. And once we get here over this one, we'll immediately turn right so that we can land up top. We're going to have a couple up here. The first one's going to be this scavenger droid. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. You want to take out this scavenger droid before he disappears. So once you take him out, he's going to drop a treasure that you can pick up. So go ahead and grab that collectible. Your next one is going to be a seed pod. You're actually going to have two seed pods up here. One's right here in front of me. You can take this one out. And the second one's right over here in this bush. So you can just tell by the green orbs. Those will be two seed pods up here. And then your fourth collectible up here is going to be in the water. So if you jump in, we can dive down and you'll be open up you'll be able to open up this chest to get your next collectible and once you've opened up the chest we can head back to the top and we're going to take the bird and fly off of this thing now so we'll jump back up on the ledge you guys can see we have a bird over here we want to work our way to the right side over there so we'll hop on the bird we're going to fly toward the air so that we can get lifted up a little bit and once we go up we're going to fly right over here now, once you land, you're going to have a couple enemies that you'll need to take out. They'll just be hanging out over here. But you can see right over here on the left side of the waterfall is where our next collectible is going to be. 
If I drop off right here, right here on the left side of the waterfall will be your next collectible. Now the next thing we're gonna do is turn around and grab the ball that's in this little machine. And we're gonna take this inside. We can throw it right here. And once we do that, we're gonna come right over here and get another collectible. We can pull this box out of that room jump up on the box and jump into that room. And in the back left, we're gonna have a treasure we can pick up. Now, after grabbing that one, we'll turn around and drop down and we're gonna go through this little crack in the wall. And this is why we made the laser come out over here. So you guys can see we need to take this out. We're just gonna use BD1's ability. We'll drag that laser right over here, burn up this entrance here so we can go through. And once it's gone, you can jump up here and you'll be able to get your next collectible. Once you grab this one, your next one's gonna be just around the corner right over here. And once you've grabbed this one, we're done with all the collectibles on this side. We're gonna jump back down and go back through this little crack in the wall. And we're gonna take this ball and put it back where we got it. So we'll take this back outside and we'll throw it back in this little machine so that we can get the little air pocket, whatever you wanna call them things to work so we can fly. Throw that back in there. We'll come right over here and we're going to take this bird. And our goal is just to fly to the other side up there by that big tower. We'll hop on the bird. Fly over the little volcano, guys. We'll make it up top. The first place we want to go is the far back left. If we go right over here to the left side of this building, we're going to have a little scan right here. So you can do this and this will be your next collectible. After scanning that, we're going to head inside. So we'll walk around to the front door. We'll sneak through the little crack there and right over here on the left by this gray door we're going to be able to scan again now after you grab this one we'll turn to our left and we can climb up this rope that's right here when we get to the top we're going to take a left and climb these vines and right at the top here you're going to be able to get your next collectible after you grab this one we'll turn around and we're going to run across the roof here and we can drop down right here and as soon as you drop down if you look to your left you're going to have another collectible right here once you grab this one we'll turn around and head back into the next room and in this room we'll be able to come over to this bookshelf and scan this one for a collectible once you get this one we'll turn behind us go through this double door and work our way into this room and as soon as you walk into this room right here on your right you're going to be able to scan again after scanning this we are done in this building so we're going to head back outside and we want to work our way over there to that side the only way we can do that is by going back out to the front by the meditation site. So we'll head back to the front door and we're going to take a bird, which is right over here on the right. And we're just going to fly all the way to the left. So we'll just take a little U-turn here and fly over this way. And we want to get up on this ledge over here. We'll fly right over here by these other birds. And you're going to have some enemies up here that you need to take out. So as soon as you land, go ahead and take out these birds. And once you take out all the birds, we're going to work our way up the hill. We're going to have two seed pods up here. We're going to take out this one right here on the left. And then you can come right over here to these sticks and take out this one. And those will be your next two collectibles. After those, we're going to head over to this side. We can jump across and in the middle of this big block is going to be your force tear. So we can go in here, complete this, and this will be your next collectible. And once you're done with the force tear, we're going to head back outside and we're going to hop on the bird. And we actually want to go right below us. So I'll show you what I mean. We're going to hop on this bird here and then we're immediately going to turn around and you guys can kind of see where that laser is from where we just jumped off. We want to land right there and go in that room. So you can pull up a little bit and we're going to land right at the laser. We can jump off. And once you go inside, you're probably going to have a couple enemies that you'll need to take out. So go ahead and do that. And once doing that, you can come right back over here to the back right corner. And once you take out the enemies in the back right corner over here is going to be a treasure and your next collectible. After you pick up the treasure, if we look to the left and go in on this side over here, we're going to be able to scan, which will be our next collectible. After you grab this one, we're done in here. We're going to head back outside and we're going to take a couple different birds here. We're gonna jump on this bird to the left and we'll fly over these standard little volcanoes and we wanna work our way back up to the big tower. But we'll hit this one here first to get a little bit of height. We'll come right over here to this one. And once this one lifts us up, we're gonna come right up here to this building and we're gonna grab this bird. And we wanna make it on the ledge all the way across over there. So we'll hop on this bird. We'll fly all the way across. You may need to jump. If not, you've got a grapple over here so it's not too big of a deal. But we're going to drop down right here and we're going to work our way through this crack in the wall. So as soon as you go through, we're going to jump across and climb up on this thing. And we want to grapple to the right. We can jump off right here, grapple and wall run. And we'll make it over here in this corner where we're going to have a chest and our next collectible. And once you've opened this chest, we want to head out of here. So we'll go back over here and grapple on the wall. We can then grapple to this wall. We'll jump up a few times and then we can jump backwards and grapple our way out of here. So we'll grapple back up on the top. And now we're outside. 
Now we want to go all the way back over to the broken bridge on the far side. So we're going to hop on this bird. We want to get a little bit of height so that we can make it all the way over there. We'll fly over these little volcano guys and we'll just head out this way. Now you want to be careful that you don't smack into the side of the mountain. For those of you who don't know, if you hit the mountain, you fall off immediately. So pull back if you need to, to make sure that we can land here without anything horrible happening. We're going to go into this room above us. We'll come right over here. We're going to drop down. We're going to jump right up here into this room. We're going to grab this ball right here. We're going to take this ball. We're going to take it outside and we're going to have a little drop off over here. Make sure you don't leave the ball on the ground for too long. But right over here, you'll be able to drop the ball. We want to drop it on this second level here. So we'll drop it just below us. We'll drop down, pick it back up. We're going to bring it in here. And if we put it right here in this little middle thing, it's going to open up this door. And behind this door, we're going to have another collectible. Now, once you've grabbed this, we're going to head back outside and we want to go all the way up top where that laser is over there. That's where we want to end up. Now to do that, we're going to come right back over here and climb up this wall. We can use the vines. And then if we run over here on the little broken bridge, we're going to have a bird that we can use. And we're going to fly toward the volcano guy. So we'll hit a little bit of air right here. We can make it all the way across over this way. And once we get over here, you'll want to jump and dodge so that you can make it up top. And once we're here, we're going to take this zip line and turn that on if you haven't used it already. We're going to jump right over here to this wall and that'll get us to a spot where we can get a bird up there. So we'll take this bird and fly it down over the volcano so that we can get some air. And once we get up high enough, we can fly over there to the left. Fly over this guy. We'll hit this one and now we're high enough we want to come land right up here and we're going to use this laser i think i already have it in the right spot because i've already made a video on this collectible specifically but we're going to use this laser and you want to aim this exactly where it's aiming right now so you can see down there that there's a ledge you want to have the laser touching that little ledge down there so it'll probably be aiming in a different direction make sure that it's pointing at that ledge and once you do that, we can come right over here and take this bird and fly to that ledge. Now, again, you want to be super, super careful about running into things. Because if you hit the side of one of these rocks, you're going to fall off and die. So we'll hit this, get some air, and then I'm just going to pull back so that we fall pretty much straight down. And what we're going to do is use BD1's ability to drag that laser inside. And we're going to use it to break open a door. Now, again, I've already got the door open, but this is what you'll do. You'll use BD1's ability here. You're gonna drag that laser all the way inside and you're gonna bring it all the way over here to this room. This door is gonna be blocked. You'll burn this door open. You can go inside and this little thing will pop up with your collectible right in the middle. Now the 40th and final collectible most of you probably already have. It's one that you obtain throughout the main story and it's one that you can't go past without grabbing as the game makes you. It's the part where you watch the hologram of two Jedi destroying an object before they're interrupted. I don't wanna spoil it, but that is where you get the 40th collectible in this area. But this is how to get all 40 collectibles in the Devastated Settlement. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys in the next video.